In this video, we're going to complete example one and we're going to calculate the value of X in each diagram below giving reasons. Now, I've grabbed my highlighter and I'm going to mark the lines around the 70 degree angle and I'm going to mark the lines around the X and then extend them. Now we notice that we get the letter Z, which we learned means that the angles are equal to each other and they are referred to as alternate angles. Therefore, X must be 70 degrees if they are equal to each other. We also need to give reasons, and the reason we're going to give is that they are alternate angles, because that's what we learned in the previous video. We learned that alternate angles are equal. Let's now move on to question B. Grabbing our highlighter, we're going to mark the lines around the 105 degree angle and the lines around the X. And as we extend these lines, we get a C shape. C shape meaning the angles are co-interior. Now this time, the angles are not equal. Instead, they add up to 180 degrees. So what does X equal? Well, to find X, we need to take 180 and subtract 105. This will tell us that X must equal 75 degrees. Next to that, I need to give the reason. For this one, the angles are co-interior. So I'm going to write that co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. And finally, question C now, grabbing my highlighter, I'm going to mark the lines around the X and mark the lines around the 112. When I extend these markings, I get the letter F, which means they are corresponding angles or that they are equal to each other. So in this one, X equals 112 degrees. And for our reason, we're going to write it in brackets below. We're going to say that they are corresponding angles. We're going to say that corresponding angles are equal. That concludes our video on example one. Remember, if you read the description below, you'll find links to worksheets relating to this video.